Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain the terms retroperitoneal and intraperitoneal. Uh, so to understand these terms, first we need to know what is the peritoneum. Uh, the peritoneum is the serous membrane that lines the abdominal cavity and covers the abdominal organs. Uh, so as a quick reminder, a serous membrane is made up of two layers, the parietal layer, that's the layer that lines the inside of the cavity, and the visceral layer is the layer of the serous membrane that covers each individual organ. Uh, so both layers are secreting serous fluid, which is just kind of a slippery fluid, um, so that the idea is we reduce friction among all the structures that are contained within that cavity. Uh, so the peritoneum is just the special name we give for the serous membrane that happens to be in the abdominal cavity. Uh, the serous membranes that are in our other cavities just have their own special names depending on what cavities and what organs are contained within them. Uh, so retroperitoneal and intraperitoneal is describing the location of organs relative to where the peritoneum is. Uh, so intraperitoneal simply means inside of the peritoneum. Um, so that includes lots of different organs like the spleen, liver, stomach, and several more, mostly digestive organs and a couple others like the spleen. Um, retroperitoneal refers to anything that is behind the peritoneum, um, so not contained within the peritoneum. Um, so those organs might be completely outside of the peritoneum, or they might be partially covered in the visceral layer of the peritoneum and partially not. Um, so like the duodenum, for example, the first segment of the small intestine, on one side it's facing into the peritoneum, so it is covered in uh, the visceral layer of the uh, peritoneum, uh, but on the posterior side it's facing the retroperitoneum, meaning the space that is behind the peritoneum. Um, the kidneys are also retroperitoneal. Um, so anything that is behind the peritoneum is retroperitoneal. Anything inside of it is intraperitoneal. So there is a quite a list of organs that are contained in both spaces, uh, but hopefully now you have a better understanding of what those terms actually mean. All right, thank you so much for watching this video and hope you have a great day.